Meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Temperatures are chilly out there as we head into the 1st of November today, but even colder starts to the mornings are going to continue through the work week this week. 39, so close to 40 at the airport right now, 32 at freezing level in Paris, 33 in Crawfordsville, 37 in Mattoon, 34 in Robinson, and 39 is what Vincennes is waking up to south of us. But we are a lot colder than this time yesterday, 12 degrees colder in Robinson, 12 in Paris, 13 in Vincennes, and then we're sitting at 9 degrees cooler in Terre Haute than this time yesterday on Sunday and there is a wind chill out there in most places this morning. 27 is what it feels like in Paris, 34 in Robinson, 36 in Terre Haute, 32 in Mattoon and 35 is what it feels like in Olney. So you're definitely going to want to bundle up this morning and actually the next several mornings are going to be in the either upper 20s or lower 30s so it is going to be pretty cold out there. There's even some snow forming west of here and continuing to hit areas of Nebraska, Kansas, areas like that out west of here. They're even under winter weather advisories. We've got nothing going on in our neck of the woods, though. Just out west of here, rain showers and snow showers. We might see a couple showers, rain showers, though, later in the evening hours of today. But for now, we are going to be dry. We will pick up some cloud coverage. You can see the stars out there right now. Probably can see that sunrise later this morning. But then we are going to increase cloud coverage once we get to the later afternoon and the evening hours. Few counties south of here might pick up a few hundredths of an inch of rain. Not going to expect much. And actually, that's how we're looking at in our long term forecast. We're not tracking a whole lot. It's going to be sunny then Tuesday, so we do clear up. No showers in the forecast for Tuesday or Wednesday. We kind of switch in between seeing some sunny skies and then some cloudy skies as well. Winds are not going to be that big of a factor. They're right now 5 miles per hour in Terre Haute. Calm in Bloomington, 7 miles per hour in Champaign, 3 in Robinson, and then 6 miles per hour down in Vincennes. They are out of a northerly direction. That's what's pull pulling in the cooler air. They're only going to stay between about 5 and 10 miles per hour, so wind gusts not going to be an issue today. They'll pick up a little bit more, maybe about 5 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow, so still not that big of a factor. So we're not looking at winds being a factor at all, at least as we begin our week. Also on the seven-day precipitation model, a little bit of cloud coverage, but you can see there's really no precipitation in our area across, our, uh, across the Wabash Valley over the next several days, so we're not tracking a whole lot of rain in the forecast really at all, but what we are tracking is the cooler air. That is definitely going to push through once we get into about this week, we are going to see cooler temperatures the entire work week. Maybe a little bit of a relief, though, once we get into next week. We see kind of above average temperatures hitting some areas. So that cooler air is going to push eastward, maybe allowing us to warm up a little bit more next week compared to what temperatures are going to be this week. 50, though, is going to be the high today. Partly cloudy, it is going to be cooler than yesterday on Halloween. Northwest winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The overnight low, then, this is heading into your Tuesday. It's going to be chilly, 34 degrees, mostly cloudy and cold. Cold. Northwest winds about five miles per hour, but the seven day extended forecast shows temperatures, the overnight lows at least falling. So our highs then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 50 tomorrow, so pretty similar to today with more sunshine Tuesday than Monday. 48 Wednesday, 48 Thursday, 50 on Friday. Looks like as we head into the weekend, we'll see temperatures kind of dip a little bit or go, rise a little bit, but they are definitely the overnight lows at least going to get pretty chilly. Nicole, we will be bundling up this week, that's for sure. Oh, 